ladies and gents, today we're going to talk about advantages in Tarkov from a science perspective. If Einstein lived in our days, he wouldn't be concerned by inventing uh, relative theories, he would be playing Tarkov and he would be making scientific videos about right side peaks, left side peaks, inertia and all of that stuff. But since Einstein is not with us, uh, I will take his place and will try my best. I'm not as genius as him, but I'm, 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 I'm alright, I'm alright. I finished a degree, I'm an engineer, so you can trust me. We're gonna talk about two different things today. First of all, we're gonna talk about the distance, the distance between you, the hallways and the objects and how it affects uh, your advantage. As one famous scientist once said, distance equals speed multiplied by time. And the second thing we're gonna talk about today is gonna be right side peaks, uh, the advantage, the disadvantage, peaking, leaning, and I will show you how it looks like from both of the perspectives, from your perspective and from the perspective of your enemy. All right, first of all, I would love to talk about the distance and uh, how distance gives you an advantage or a disadvantage in the game. And in the first scenario, let's imagine that there is a guy holding this door, right? And we need to decide if we want to fight him using this wardrobe, right? Well, we will, we will fight him using this wardrobe, but we need to decide if we want to pre-fire and pick the guy close range, right? Being close to the wardrobe. Or we actually want to move a bit back, take a bit of a distance, and then pick the guy. And right now I'm going to use a simulation to show you what exactly you need to do and what would be the theoretical advantage. So I've got this Ray Optics Simulator open. It's a, it's an online website. You can do the same thing if you want. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna use those rays as our players. So this is player number one, and this is their FOV. This is what they see, and those are their shoulders. Okay, and this is player number two, and we can we can play around. So the thing which we're gonna talk about is distance and distance between the objects only. We are not including right side peaks, left side peaks, anything else. Only distance. So this guy is completely hidden and this this is the hallway, all right? This is building number one, this is building number two. And this guy is completely hidden behind building number one. As we can see from his FOV, there is a little bit of a gap right there, which means if somebody peeks from that building, they, they have to go beyond the corner in order to see the guy. And the same thing applies to this guy too. So this guy, is very far away from both of the corners and that gives him a better perspective. This guy is very close to one of the corners and if he looks to the right side, he is very limited. Um, his vision is very limited. He cannot see further than the ray goes. So if somebody stays in this position, the guy will not be able to see him. However, his shoulders are exposed and this guy, who is located all the way really, really far from both of the corners, he can look in this direction and he will actually see the left shoulder of this guy and generally this is it the further you are from the corner the more perspective you have and that's the advantage in other words if you're waiting for someone to pick the corner and you want to be in a stationary position the further you are from the corner the better we're just using this as a hypothetical scenario of course you can say that you can stay close to the wardrobe fully hide yourself and do a quick peek and because the service might be the sinky, there is a peaker's advantage, you might win the fight, right? Uh, I personally wouldn't even fight using this wardrobe, I'd probably run to the other side, chuck the nade off the wall, make sure the guy hides, push a bit closer, chuck another nade, push to the kitchen, and then fight him from the kitchen. Because right here I have a peaker's advantage, and uh, it's just easier to, fly, to fight close range. Alright, the time has come to talk about the right side peeker's advantage. We've got two guys in the same hallway, located on the same distance uh, from the building, and more or less they are in the same conditions, right? This guy, well, let's say this is guy number one. Guy number one can see the guy number two, and guy number two can see the guy number one. This is if we talk about their view perspective, their heads. However, let's talk about the actual weapons, right? and uh, weapons usability when you pick the corners. So as we know in Tarkov, your weapon is in your right hand, right? It's not located in the middle, it's located more a bit to the right side. So we're gonna move this guy's gun to the right side, as well as this guy's gun to the right side. And this is what makes the most of the difference. So our player number two 
cannot shoot the player number one, even though they can see him. The problem is the gun is to the right side and if he would fire it, he would just shoot the building. And this is the opposite case for the guy uh, number one. Our guy can see the guy number two and he can actually fire him pretty well, because his gun is already on the right side. And this is what gives right pickers advantage. It's nothing to do with the sync, it's nothing to do with the camera. It's purely to do with the fact that your gun is physically located on the right side of the player. And Nikita on Reddit mentioned that in the future they do plan to add shoulder swapping, so this shouldn't be an issue whenever that mechanic is implemented. I've synchronized those clips to make sure that both POVs are playing on the same time. POV on the left is me doing the right side peek, and POV on the right is my enemy doing the right side peek. And as you can see in this frame, there is actually a lot of advantage if you do the right side peek. Just a quick reminder, if you're watching this video and enjoying my content, feel free to subscribe and support the channel. Right now, 73% of you that are watching are not subbed, and I would appreciate the subscription. Also, feel free to check me out on Twitch where I stream daily, and probably as you're watching this video right now, there is a very high chance that I'm streaming, so pop into my Twitch chat and say hi. I would love to see you there. Yep, yep, yep. So right now I am sticking my gun out of the door and even though I can't see my enemy, I can already shoot them, even though they're not on my screen. And if I were to do quick peeks, they would look something like this. I can go in pretty quick and uh, prefile without any problems. However, if I move to the other side and I do left side peeks, it's very difficult for me to see my enemy, as well as my gun faults. So my enemy can already see me and I can't see him. ADSing doesn't help either and pushes from the left side are way slower and I expose myself way too much. Right now I can barely see the guy and my whole body is exposed. While on the right side I can do quick peeks, my enemy can barely see me and I can see them perfectly fine. And right now I'm gonna share a couple of my uh, clips from my Twitch streams where I utilize the right side peaks and you can analyze them for yourselves. So watch them, analyze them, see if you can learn something new and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Dark, can't see shit, bro. Hmm. GG.